it will not look like this, although it could be one answer to going back to the roots of simplicity. It will not look like this, don't worry. But I would like to give you some examples why there is a mind change and why cars of the future will be different than today. Now, here's the first example. Not so long ago, in every household, there was a radio. When the rock and roll came, Elvis Presley, you know, the Beatles, and so on, young people wanted to listen to this new music. But they could not, because in most of the households, there was one radio in the living room, and the parents, they did not like rock and roll. Right? So, the children, the young they were not free. They could not listen to the music, what they wanted. Came the, the radio, transistor radio, very bad quality, no good, you know, uh, reception. The batteries were going empty. It was terrible, terrible quality. But it gave the people the freedom to listen music where they want to listen. This was the importance. It was not a comparison of technique, it was that they became freedom. Now, same with cameras. When the digital, digital cameras came out, you could argue any, any technical item. The digital camera is worth too bad next to a good camera. If you compare them with technical points of view, the digital camera has no chance. But the one who had the digital camera could develop immediately his photo and share his photos with his friends. And he did not need to wait a long time to get his film back and maybe they have been not good and his friend has been gone. Uh -huh. So again, an aspect of freedom, of independence, which makes a product which is in quality terms not comparable with the established one, to something more desirable. The same, you know, I don't need to tell you, from telephone to computer to iPad to iPhone. Yeah. It's perfect. When the first handies came out, you know how big they have been and, you know, how useless they have been. But they gave the people the freedom to talk, to communicate, you know, to make photos whenever they want to. And this is the big change on mobility, the independence. This is a new mobility. When you have a vehicle and you can plug it in, in any plug, in your garden, with your friends, in front of a restaurant, when you are in the cinema, when you are in a shopping mall, and you are independent of the oil, you do not pollute, you do not create noise, because in a city the noise is one of the most uh, um, existing things against health. So, you can see that it gives a kind of independence in your life. And if then the product appeals, then, you know, it is a very, very important step to a new kind of car architecture. Why I'm saying car architecture? Because in that moment where other points are getting more important than showing speed or dynamism or aggressivity, the car becomes much more an architectural concept of room, of space, of living inside. Of course, you know, you know all this in Istanbul, future mobility has different aspects. The intercity, the urban, long distance. Long distance, there are a lot of means, you know, e planes, trains, ships. Um, mainly the new mobility will start his uh, subject in uh, urban area in big cities because there the, the result is most visible, pollution, noise. Um, so we in, in Mia Electric, which is the company I founded uh, two years ago, uh, we are looking really on the mobility of the, in the urban areas. And one possible answer is our new electric vehicle 
which we are selling now, starting in France, Germany, and hopefully one day in Turkey. And why we are starting in the cities is that, you know, the world population as it grows, will grow exorbitant in cities, in big capitals. And, of course, in these big capitals, not only the personal transport is important, also the light uh, duty vehicles, you know, the daily transport of foods, you know, of drinks. These are the things which become, will become more and more important. And because it's in the city, it will become more and more important that they are pollution-free, environmental-friendly. This is our product. It is a 100% electrical vehicle which is done for city use, zero emission, to be plugged in in any 220 volt plug wherever you want to. Central seating, uh, big space for communication items like the iPad, iPhone, very visibility. You can get into the car from both sides, from the right and the left, three-seater, four-seater, one-seater. It's the only kind of world that you can buy which is zero emission, but which also has a seating position where children can see out from the back to the front because we have no, no uh, headrest in front of you. So it's a complete new kind of car architecture for living by low speed. A lot of people who, who are sit in this car are quite happy, you know, they can, you know, it's different kind of moving in, with and out the car. And to show you maybe the importance of this change uh, and the importance, this is my last slide. In 1906, there have been in Germany already, you know, 10,000 registered cars, probably there have been even more. 10,000, you know, cars have been registered. And the first gas station in Germany was 1927. So up to then, the people were filling their cars by pharmacy, you know, alcohol things. It, it took over, you know, it took, it took over 20 years to, to, have, to have a gas station. And when we talk about electrical cars, millions of plugs are already everywhere. We just have to use them to release ourselves for a better environment. Thank you very much.